It's now officially been one full year since we saw the start of the Russian invasion of Ukraine and the war that we continue to see happening there. Our Marlon Martinez sat down with a Ukrainian refugee today living in Topeka to share her story of fleeing her homeland for safety. Mar yeah, that's right, David. This is Maria and her family and in March of 2022, leaving her mom, husband and life all behind, all for the safety of her children. And you started and continue to to kill our children and to kill our woman and men. Maria's message to Russia's leader Vladimir Putin. You need to stop it. A year ago, the world witnessed Russia invade Ukraine, but before the war, life for Maria and her family was normal. We live like usual life. We. We worked, attend school. Life took a different turn last February for Maria and Ukrainians. They started to bomb civilians uh, 23rd of February. When I heard, first time in my life I heard this sound. Bombs, fighter jets, gun sounds. Tanks are coming through out. Come. Maria knew she had to do something and quick to protect her two children. It was like immediately measured to save my children. I understand that if I if I stay there, I can I can be bombing. After a six month journey for Maria and her two children, now she's accustomed to a new life here in Topeka. I enjoy life here, to be honest. I enjoy I enjoy because I have um, I, I feel safety here. In the years since the start of the war, she looks back at how much her country has gone through. A Russian wants uh, to like to separate us, maybe. Uh, I think it's it's genocide of Ukrainians. Maria says one thing Russia can't take away is their unity. But Ukrainians gathering, you know, and they help each other in in this uh, situation. Maria says over 20 Ukrainian families are in Topeka and hopes to continue her new life here in the U.S. Thanks, Marlon, for that update.